When lawyer Willie Kimani, his client and taxi driver, disappeared last week, it took the dramatic intervention of his fellow advocates and human rights activists to force attention on the strong suspicions of police involvement. What we do know is that on the day of the abduction of Willie and his companions, they had come from dealing with a court case at Mavoko Law Courts that was involving an administration police officer. So there is actually indicators that it may be because of the action that Willie took in his professional capacity that uh, he was disappeared. Until then, the police had played a deaf ear to the strong allegations that the Siokimao AP camp had served as a stopover for the trio's disappearance. And when the police finally bowed to pressure, theirs was a typical mundane assurance that the matter was under investigation. What seemed to follow was the usual time-buying motion with little real movement on the matter. The drill ended today once it became clear that Kimani, his client, and the taxi driver would not be coming back after all. But even before the gruesome discovery, relatives and friends appeared resigned to a premonition that the three were likely dead. They had good reason to believe so, judging by the many unresolved matters and disappearances in the country. An earlier search had led them to Naivasha, where three bodies with hands tied at the back had been recovered. It wasn't Kimani and his colleagues, but that means three other people were also killed in equally mysterious circumstances. Today's discoveries reinforce fears that Kenya could be sinking into a bandit country steeped in extrajudicial killings. Eyewitnesses at Oldonia Sabuk say this port has in recent times become a popular spot for disposing bodies. Kama miezi mbili ambayo imeisha hapo tukija February March hapo hivyo tumekuwa kwa mwezi mmoja upalitolewa more than watu kutoka 10 or 6. Unakuta kila wiki unakuta watu wawili kati nyingine kukatolewa watu watatu that was a uh, imekuwa ndio process ya hapa inspector general joseph boynet admitted in a statement that there was circumstantial evidence to link three officers to the latest bodies many other bodies have previously been found abandoned in gong and the kitengela plains that few of these murders are ever resolved and the professionalism of the acts has pointed fingers of suspicion on the police. But in the statement, the IG rejected claims that his force is riddled with rotten apples, but instead blamed the acts on a few rogue officers. Lawyers through the LSK now say they will boycott the courts beginning Monday to force the resignation of Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri and the IG who they blame of tolerating police killer squads.